Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. This episode is called Make Your Own Recycling Centre and I'm very lucky to be here at uh, Stephen's, uh, Stephen Reed's world. Hello Stephen. Greetings program. <laughs> <laughs> the skin is amazing, look at it. <laughs> yep. Um, so this is, this is your world, this is your eco-village, is that right? That's the one, there's lots of elements of the world but this is a village that we've tried to uh, build uh, to help children to think about electricity, energy, um, and and waste, and how we can do things more yeah. eco ecologically and economically um, outside of Minecraft yeah. uh, by teaching them inside. It is very cool. There's there's this giant uh, wind turbine up here, which is really cool as well. So this episode's all about a recycling center. So let's go and have a look through here. So this is where this is the recycling center. It's on the edge of the village. Uh, and we can go through here and we have a look in here and we've got uh, we've got some chests in the ground and we've got uh, general waste paper glass and metals and if you can you can open the chests and let's put I've got an anvil here I'm not using it anymore so I'm gonna put that in there and it it sort of disappears from the chest and uh, I can if I press a button and if I listen very carefully I can hear a uh, a minecart going somewhere now I, I've opened it up here let's go up to the actual recycling centre, which is up these stairs, and through here, and uh, we'll just go around the corner. I've, I've, I've opened some. Oh, look, there's a, there's a, a dump over here as well, which is kind of cool. We'll, we'll have a look at the dump in a minute. And this is where the recycling centre is, and all the materials from down in the bottom uh, get automatically uh, transported up to this area here. So there's glass. This is where the glass comes. And there's a cook, cook port chop in there, unfortunately. I, I don't know. Obviously, we've uh, people aren't um, aren't recycling properly. We've got a oh, there's a potato in here as well. So basically, what happens is uh, the minecarts come up here uh, and go in here and dump their stuff automatically into these chests up here, where where they can be sorted out and disposed of safely. So obviously, general waste can go into the big dump, and we've got a big dumpster here. We've got a kind of a big dumper truck disposing of waste in this big. Um, uh, what are these called? They're kind of um, landfill, aren't they? So we've landfill. Got, yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. a massive landfill here, and that's kind of uh, all that horrible waste is getting there. But all the other stuff, obviously, can be recycled. I'm gonna pop a metal door in there. Brilliant. Just to make sure we get the, the, the recycling right. And then if okay, you hover up there, I'll fly so up. I'll fly up. I'll show, and we should sense. What Stephen's going to do is going to press the button, and we should see that um, that my cart go up here. Let's have a look. So that's where it, that's where it's heading. That's been done. It's yeah. going in. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. There it is. It's going in there. Oh. It's automatically dumping its stuff and it's going straight back. It did it yeah. quite quickly. Um, it did. So let's have a look in here. So we've got an anvil and we've got two iron doors. Fantastic. And that's in our metal uh, our metal section over here. So it's quite, there's quite a clever little mechanism going on here that, uh, that allows our minecarts to dump their stuff uh, and then be transported all the way back to their original point, uh, ready to collect even more rubbish uh, on the next round. So it's really it's a lovely automated system. So let's have a look uh, behind the scenes and see how it's kind of made. So we've got to, they've got a disposal works entrance, so we can kind of go down here, and we can look underneath. So we're now underneath the main area, and I I did put a little bit of a glass section here, so we can kind of pop up, and we can pop down. So let's have a look at see how it works. So we've got, there's our chest, and our chest is on top of a hopper, and our hopper is pointing down towards a minecart, uh, and the minecart has got a chest in it as well. And then underneath that minecart is some inactive powered rail, uh, a normal uh, bit of rail, and then powered rail all the way up here. And I think we've got it powered by... Uh, I wonder how, how is this powered? Underneath. Is there uh, something under Fantastic. We, we've got redstone torches underneath, uh, two blocks down. Right, brilliant. Um, so, so that's, that's quite it... clever. Um, so, what happens is, you know, when we put something in here, the the chest automatically, it just automatically falls down. If there is a something underneath, if, if there is a minecart underneath here, then it automatically, the hopper automatically pushes it into the minecart. And if I can right click on the minecart, we could see there, there's our iron door. So here we are in a redstone world, and I've separated it all out for us so we can have a real good 360 degree look at what on earth is going on in this mechanism. Because it's um, it's a little bit easier to do it like this. First things first, we need a minecart with 
a chest in it, and that's that's really easy. So it's just a chest and a minecart on top of each other, and we get this. So that's the first thing we need. And then the other thing is to understand what's going on with the redstone. So if we've got a redstone uh, signal going along here, uh, and that's connected to this tor this uh, redstone lamp, uh, we can actually put a redstone torch up here. That sends a signal down and turns on the lamp, but it's all the way up here, which is, uh, you know, sometimes surprises people. So I'm just going to let that one sink in, uh, and then we'll go over here and we'll have a look at the contraption uh, as it is, sort of separate from the rest of the world, if you like. Uh, so here it all is, and we've got our chest, our hopper, and uh, and this kind of this circuit down here. So if I had to put a, a minecart down here. It's on unpowered rail and it's touching the back section here. So if it gets powered, it's going to push off from that wall. If it was a bit further on, it might not know which way to go. <laughs> so when we press this button up the top, this redstone torch will go off. That will unpower this. That will power this torch, but it will create a circuit. Okay. So this circuit will power this block up here. That would then power this this uh, this uh, redstone thing. That would then turn that off, but it would then it'd stop being power because this one's off, and it would it would kind of click round, click round. So it makes it flash. As it's flashing, it's being powered, and it pushes the thing along there until obviously this uh, this switch turns off. So this is a timed switch, as we know. Switches go in, they last a couple of ticks, and then they pop back out again. So let's see that work again. Flash, 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 and off it trots. Okay, brilliant. So let's build that over here, so you can see how many I've, I've built it. Uh, so I'm going to go one, two, 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 one, two. One, two. Just dig underneath. So this is a cross section. Okay. So I'm going to put my powered rail along here, and two there, and then just build this up. This is going to be the wall that we're going to push off from. Okay. And then I'm going to put my rail down here, and then on top of the rail I'm going to put another block, and then a block here, and a block here. Okay, so on top of this one, I put some redstone, and a redstone torch, okay, and I put a button on the front. Underneath, not forgetting, I put a redstone torch there. Now that goes off because it's being powered. Uh, this redstone blob uh, is actually powering this block here. And therefore, it turns this torch off. Now, this torch will power this line down here if it was on because of this mechanism over here. But it's not being turned on yet, which is great. So let's put our chest in. We can just pop our chest there and then go down the bottom and look up. Now, we need a hopper for this. So I'm going to grab my hopper and I'm going to look up and press shift and click. Okay, so that means I don't open the chest accidentally. So I'm looking up. Now, the hopper then is pointing down. And that's when I put my my cart down there. So when I do right click this and I put some, let's put some stringing, it'll just fly all the way down into the chest down here and there's a string. And that's how you do this one. Oh, I've got to also power these, remember that quickly, and put some a couple of torches down that power that. So basically when we press the button, click, 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 off it trots all the way up the hill. So let's, let's return and I'll show you how the other mechanism works at the top. So let's go up to the other end. So you put your stuff in there, press the button and off it goes. Whizzes along the track. And it will go along and along and along. And then what happens is it comes around here. And this here, so all this is, is activated. So we make sure that our minecart has got enough power to reach its destination. Let's take a closer look at the mechanism uh, for delivering our goods to the recycling centre up above. Uh, again, we're back in our redstone world to give ourselves a 360 degree look at how this mechanism works. Now, there's the key section to it, which is this hopper and this uh, redstone comparator down the bottom. And I'm going to show you how that works separate over here. So, for example, let's take ourselves 64, it's 64 uh, little stone pieces. I'm going to put them into this hopper at the end. And as soon as I put them in that hopper, you can see this comparator is actually sending out a signal. It, this comparator is saying, hey, there's stuff in this hopper. I will send out one signal. And it's one signal long, and it's lighting up this uh, redstone lamp over here. So it's sending out a redstone signal, which means if I were to put a redstone torch on top, it would go out. 
<laughs> until of course uh, where are we until of course it becomes empty and then the redstone torch goes on okay so we're going to use that trick that mechanism down here to turn this torch off as our minecart comes along the track it goes over this detector rail which first of all sends a redstone signal to this block here turning the torch off as soon as the torch gets turned off the um, piston here retracts our minecart gets delivered on top of this um, hopper here and starts immediately delivering whatever is inside of it because it's delivering whatever is inside of it our redstone comparator also sends a signal to this block uh, which uh, keeps that torch off because the comp this uh, redstone uh, with this uh, detector rail down here will have stopped activating it happens so quickly okay uh, as soon as the goods have been delivered and there's nothing left within this hopper the redstone signal from the comparator stops this redstone torch goes back on and the piston is pushed thus returning the minecart with its chest back to the beginning let's get ourselves 64 stone and put 64 stone into our our little minecart let's push it along push 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 come on there we go gets pushed up on top there uh, and it stays up there because obviously the uh, comparators are uh, saying hey there's stuff inside this hopper and it's delivering all them stuff so once that has delivered let's have a look in the hopper I can't even see it in there let's have a look on, in the chest oops I'm placing redstone torches everywhere which isn't going to help 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and it gets pushed back right to the back of the beginning so let's show you quickly how to build something like this so we're going to put a chest down and then we're going to put the new crouch so press shift and place your hoppers and they connect to the chest so if I were to put something in this one it would go all the way through here and finally end up in the chest okay so that, that's how they kind of connect those together uh, and then what I'm going to do is we need to let's just take a look here so that's that bit so we need uh, something on the side here so I'm going to do one two three there we go okay and then right on this side we need one under here and one on top here as well so we just need one top like that okay so it looks like that then we need a comparator underneath pointing away from this hopper towards this block here and on that block there we're going to put a redstone torch and then we're going to that's activating that one and then we can just put some redstone dust along here okay uh, we also need a sticky piston uh, not a sticky piston just a normal piston in fact and we put that facing away like that okay um, now I'm going to just turn that off for now because we need to do the rails now the rails can be a bit tricky okay I'm not going to lie so I'm going to again shift click put one on top one down here then a detector rail just down there and then another rail okay the detector reel need, needs redstone going towards this area here and I'm going to break this rail up here okay and that will keep this one triangular up to this area here it won't ever push it off if I weren't to do that then it, all everything would break and it'd be awful okay uh, and then I can just go back here get my redstone torch and put my redstone torch back up here and there you go it's done that's it that's all you need to do it's as simple, <laughs> he says, as that. Okay, uh, so that will get uh, that will get everything uh, moving up here, and you can kind of you can even uh, have that as um, as powered rail all the way up to that point there. Okay, chug 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 chug. This activates there. Uh, let's get ourselves an example, and uh, let's get. Uh, whoops. Just 32. Let's push it along. There we go. Chug, 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 chug. Oops. Don't have anything in my hand. Oh, there it goes. 
and that's it. So that's how we've kind of created our own little recycling centre here. Yeah, I think one of the ideas we had was that, especially with um, the ability to create new blocks um, using the resource pack, um, you know, adjusting our resource pack, you yeah. could make uh, broken glass, for example. Yeah. And then when broken glass reaches the recycling centre, it's then turned into new glass. And then players know that that's where they can collect new glass. So it, um, it means that we don't have to keep crafting. All we have to do eventually is fix it. Uh, fix things and if we look at um, the circular economy um, the theory of the circular economy in real life um, companies are now striving to create products that don't need replaced every time something goes wrong with them all we actually need to do is maybe fix the component yeah. um, that's, that, that's wrong inside of them so it's getting kids to try and really think about uh, players in general but 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 in my in my sort of educational circle, it's getting kids to think about what we can do with the waste that we have from everyday use. And in Minecraft, kids are using stuff all the time. So uh, that's it for this episode. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comments below. Do subscribe and like. That will really help the channel as well. And if you've got any suggestions for other kind of things you'd like us to uh, have a look at, maybe even that wind turbine over here. We've got big ideas for this as well. Uh, or, or even anything else in Stephen's world. This is a brilliant place. And I'll, I'll do. We'll give a link in the description description below so you can have a look for yourself and get in contact with Stephen as well. He's got a Twitter account uh, and it's called Immersive Mind. Does a lot of Minecraft and a lot of games based learning. Uh, so do go check him out and, uh, and do um, and do have conversations with him if you're a teacher or if you're anybody else interested in education and gaming. So until next time, thank you very much and goodbye. Mm -hmm.